Hey y'all, it's Lindsay, and welcome to my face. For today's video, I am sitting down instead of standing up. I also have a bit of a cold, um, so if you see me like sniffling or if I cough or something, it's because I have a cold. This video, I'm going to be talking about something that a lot of you probably don't know about me. Most of you don't know, um, and I don't really talk about it much on the internet, so I thought I would make a video about it, um, kind of... Not necessarily raising awareness, but letting you guys know um, what's different about me. Like I said, I'm sick, I have a sore throat, so my hair is not straightened. Um, this is natural with a headband in, and I have no makeup on because I want you guys to see the real me. The only thing that I do have is I have contacts in. I do wear glasses sometimes, so I do have my contacts in, but that's the only thing um, on me that isn't like always a part of me. So yeah. Um, <clears throat> At, um, I have, I have a somewhat rare medical condition called Clipple File Syndrome. I will spell that on the screen now, and I will also leave links down below to some websites with more information, because obviously I'm just going to give you guys the general, um, the general details, and if you want to know more and see pictures and x-rays and things of what it looks like, um, you can go down below to all of the links to see that, but I'm just going to give you guys kind of the spiel that I tell people in a short amount of time when they ask. So basically, um, when I was four, um, w when I was growing up, I never walked um, until late in life. I never crawled to get anywhere around my house. I would scoot on my butt. My mom said I ruined like dozens of pairs of pants. <clears throat> I ruined like holes in all of my, I put holes in all the bottoms of all my pants and stuff from scooting and um, I didn't walk until... I was older, much above the age of when you normally walk. I don't know exactly when. And when I walked, I walked kind of bullied. So they took me to my pediatrician, and he knows, thought that was kind of strange as well. So he recommended I go see a child orthopedist. Um, he thought it was strange too, so he took x-rays. And at the age of four, I had my first ever MRI. Now you typically don't remember much stuff from when you were little, but I have a distinct memory of being in the room because they make you when you're younger since you can't, you have to lay completely still. If you've never had an MRI, you lay completely still. It's like a giant washing machine and it sounds like a washing machine inside of it. And at the age of four, going to this giant machine with these noises, you don't know what's wrong with you. It, it freaks you out. So they give you this medicine to calm you down. And they gave me a pill and I couldn't swallow the pill so I had to take this gross orange medicine and that's why I remember it. I remember being in this room with my mom and her like rocking me to get me to stop crying because I was like, freaking out um, and eventually this medicine kind of put me to sleep and I had the x-ray and on the x-ray um, the doctor discovered that I had profile syndrome. Now what that is, it's kind of defined as anomalies of the cervical spine which means I'm not sure the exact numbers but at the top of my spine in the back, um, it's like your C's they're called. I don't know which two it is but it's two of those are connected. The bones of the spine and the disc that normally separates it isn't there so they're kind of like this used together. There will be a link down below um, to a website that has like a picture of someone else's x-ray if you kind of want to get a better idea. Um, so what that meant for me was that at any point though that disc can slip and if that disc slips I can become paralyzed. So uh, growing up I was never able, allowed to run, jump, do gymnastics or contact sports, no amusement park rides, things like that. So. Growing up, um, <clears throat> I went to like a really, really small elementary school. I graduated eighth grade, like one of 15, like super, super small. So I was really close with all of my friends. So I didn't really deal with a lot of like bullying. There was definitely times when I felt out of the loop, like during PE when I would have to just sit and watch everyone else playing dodgeball or when we play kickball, I'd kick the ball and someone else would run for me. Or like I'd go to all the volleyball games and watch my friends play and kind of wish that I could do that. So that was something that was kind of difficult for me um, growing up. <clears throat> and then later on in life when I got to high school, it definitely became more of a big deal for me. I'm not gonna go into super specific details. I can definitely make another video on like bullying and stuff if you guys wanna see that. I think I might do that anyway. But if you wanna see that, give it a thumbs up and let me know down below because I will definitely, definitely do that. Um, Actually, there were some older students in the choir class that I was in that didn't like that they had to help me do certain things. Like we had to, our choir chairs, we had to lift them on and off this rack every day so the janitors could like clean the floors after class. 
and it was really heavy and I'm short so lifting that um, another thing with my neck I'm not really allowed to lift heavy things so I kind of told the teacher about it and everyone all the teachers and everything know about my neck because if I were to fall or something I'm not supposed to be moved I'm supposed to like lay still until someone calls an ambulance and stuff or my mom and it's kind of a big deal um, so that was kind of something that I dealt with they didn't like helping me and one day one of them made a comment about how I was using my disability to my advantage like so I didn't have to lift the chairs and that got to me I was usually pretty good about brushing off what they said that made me so mad because that was the last thing I ever want to do like I never wanted to seem like I'm abusing this or I'm using this as an excuse because it's something I've dealt with since I was like four years old growing up I would never tell people and they'd say, oh, why can't you play it? I'd just say, I have a special neck, instead of explaining it. So one of the other things with Clipple File, it'll say on the website, it's probably is like a shorter hairline. I don't really notice that too much. I don't really have any. It's not obvious. Um, I can try and show you guys. Let me see if I can show you guys. I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Um, but if you can see, like, the back of my neck looks totally, completely normal. If I didn't tell you right now that I had this, you wouldn't know. You can't tell. Oh, and so, um, <clears throat> being a culinary major, being a chef, is a demanding job. And it's a lot of heavy lifting and it's a lot of standing on your feet and stuff. So I think um, people were surprised that I wanted to do this. And I know it's a hard job and I know it's a lot of work, but I love cooking. And I've determined to not let my global file dictate my life or my happiness or anything so if you guys have any medical conditions where you feel like people kind of judged you for it or whatever please please do not worry about that it's not a big deal um, so basically it's just something that's different about me um, I have to be careful when people hug me or something I can't do piggyback rides like I said running jumping contact sports so yeah in high school seeing all my friends kind of I went to a really small high school as well again I graduated one of 15 um, <clears throat> was really 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 small there was another student in my class actually who had a heart problem so we had some similar restrictions um, he actually passed away um, towards the end of our junior year um, so before senior year he passed away and for me it was really sad because I felt like for the first time in my life I wasn't alone and there was someone else who kind of understood what it like felt like to be the outcast I guess or the the different one who wasn't allowed to do things if we were gonna go on a class field trip somewhere and I couldn't do something he kind of also couldn't do it um, so yeah this isn't a sad thing this is something that I have learned to live with like I said from the age of four um, it's something that I've dealt with and I've I have to be careful about things that I do not lift heavy things I just have to be more aware and if I were to get in a car accident or something it's definitely more serious I've been in two car accidents in my life and they were not serious one was just hit the bumper and I was okay I was like I think eight or something when it happened and one actually on my 16th birthday um, another car ran into my mom's like wheel in the front um, we were all okay but that's why I don't drive yet um, I'm going to start driving soon I know it's weird I'm 20 and I don't drive but I'm gonna start driving soon um, and that's something that I worry about um, I know I need to start driving but I'm just always afraid because I love cooking and I wouldn't want something you know if I if I would become paralyzed or something serious like that I wouldn't be able to cook and that's something that I love so much and the thought of not being able to do what I love kind of terrifies me a little bit I'm gonna be honest with you guys the thought of not being able to cook or not ever be a chef or have a restaurant or anything like that terrifies me and I know that there's people that are <clears throat> in wheelchairs and things that live full lives. I'm just saying for me, in what I want to do, you kind of need, to, you can't be in a wheelchair necessarily in the back of a kitchen. It's just not practical and that's something that kind of scares me. So yeah, um, this is a little bit about me. I kind of rambled, but yes, it's called Clipple File Syndrome. The doctor that I go to is like a specialist in my state where I'm from. He's amazing. Um, I've seen him since I was little and I go if you're wondering, I go back, um, it's supposed to be yearly, sometimes it's like every two years I go back for x-rays and um, checkups. In the summer of 2010, before, right before I started high school, um, this was actually the time my grandmother, my mama, was passing away and she is like 
I will do another video about this, but she's like my best friend. She's one of the reasons why I'm a culinary major. And during the time she was passing away, um, I thought my neck had slipped. Um, my doctor, I went to my doctor and he did this test where he runs his finger up my foot. And if my foot goes a certain way, it means something has slipped. And I just have really ticklish feet. Um, so that's probably why that it, this like false thing happened. But I went and had MRIs anyway, so I do have up-to-date MRIs from 2010. And it was a big deal. Like, first time they took the MRIs wrong and had to go back and have more. And it was just all of this stress and all of this worry on top of my... My mom did not tell my mama what was happening to me because she didn't want to worry, but my whole family knew and my whole family was freaking out. And so I think about two weeks after my mama had passed away, we finally got the final MRI results back and we went to see my doctor and he looked at us, all sitting, me, my mom, my dad, my older sister sitting in there and said, she's okay, you're fine. And it was like the biggest sigh of relief, the happiest moment. So I've been there, I've definitely been scared that things have happened, things have slipped. But as of now, I'm okay, uh, I'm just all good, and I hope to stay this way. So if you guys have any further questions about this, which I'm sure you will, please feel free to comment down below, or if you wanna chat more, DM me on Twitter, and we can talk all about this. Um, for those of you that have, or have maybe have had scoliosis, or know someone that has had scoliosis, it's kind of similar, except um, I like can't have a rod put in my neck or anything if I slip, um, that's kind of it. As of now, there's not really like a cure or a solution. Um, if it slips, it slips. Um, it's a pretty rare disorder. Supposedly, it's a genetic disorder. Um, none of my family has ever been tested to see if they have it. So like, technically, other, my sister played sports and stuff growing up and she was fine. Um, my sister's eight years older, so by the time when I was four, you know, she'd already been playing sports for years and my, my family haven't really been tested. My dad has back problems and stuff sometimes but so other people in my family could have it um it's a genetic disorder i don't know i've never talked about like if i have kids what's the likelihood of them getting it i don't know but it is genetic so somewhere somebody in my family probably has it and doesn't know about it which is kind of scary to think about but um yeah that's a little bit about me and my special neck as i call it um i wasn't gonna make this video as soon on my channel but it came up with somebody and i thought it was a good topic to film when I'm not feeling the best um, to just talk to you guys instead of being all high energy. It was kind of okay if I was a little bit low energy and sad. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, this is, to quote Demi Lovato, this is real, this is me, and this is exactly where I'm supposed to be. I believe that um, if I was not able to handle this and my family was not able to handle this, God would have not placed this in my life. And people ask me like, if you could go back, would you, you know, and wish it all away, would you? And I don't know that I would. And it would make things easier. And I think if I could have, you know, oh, three wishes from a genie, one wish would be I went one day to be able to just like run or jump. I've like never jumped on a trampoline. I've never just like ran a mile on track. I've never played volleyball. You know, I've, I've never done kind of the stereotypical like kid stuff. I jumped into a swimming pool. Like just things that I feel like everyone has done I really haven't it's for safety reasons I understand but I think if I um, could go back and wish all of it away I don't know that I would because it has made me such a stronger person dealing with this and knowing how to handle this has become such a part of my life and I do like live by myself at college I go home on the weekends like I am by myself um, for those of you that were like that were like one if you were wondering like about my um, my parents and stuff they have it was hard for my mom to let me go um, but my school is only like an hour away from my home, so if there's an emergency, they can get here pretty quick. Um, but yeah, I talked for way longer than I planned, so this is probably going to be a really long video unless I cut some of this down. So, um, and I probably forgot to say some things I wanted to, but like I said, if you have more questions, tweet me and we can DM about it or leave a comment down below and I will respond to everything. I want you guys to be as informed as possible because it's not something that's really talked about. People talk about scoliosis kind of all the time, and with Clippophile, um, you already have like a, I have like a 19% or something so far, like signs of scoliosis. Like you automatically have a teeny bit of scoliosis when you have Clippophile, so it could eventually turn into that. Hopefully it never does, but I try and always watch my posture and stuff. So I just wanna let you guys know, um, you never know what somebody has. I, had I not been tested as younger, I would have never known. So many people have it. 
and like aren't diagnosed with it. So please be careful. You see people when they have babies and stuff, young babies, flipping them upside down and throwing them on the beds and things. And you never know. I didn't find out till I was four. So you could have a two-year-old that you're just throwing around and they could become paralyzed because you don't know. So just be careful. Um, if you, anyone in your family kind of has a history of back problems or something, maybe go and have an x-ray or something or just talk to your doctor. Um, just be safe. And I know I shouldn't have to say this, but I am. I'm not trying to preach to you guys or anything. I just want to let you know, be safe because you never know. Like I said, I was four when I found out. So you never know who has it or who could have it. Because um, like I said, I don't know, just randomly cropped up. Someone else on my dad's side of the family or something probably has it and we don't know about it. Um, or my mom's side somewhere. So just be careful. Um, you never know. This was a really long video. I ranted for a long time. But I just wanted to talk to you guys about this because not everyone knew and you needed to be informed. Um, so if any of you ever meet me or something and you want to like hug me, that's totally fine. Hug the crap out of me. Just don't like run, tackle me, and knock me to the ground because that could be dangerous. I'm talking to you, Alex Reininger, and friends and internet peeps when we meet. So, but specifically Alex, this is for you. Be safe. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And comment down below any of your questions that you may have about this. Or if you know anyone that has this, let me know. Because I don't know anyone else that has this. Um, and yeah. Um, you guys, I just want to remind you that you can do anything. Um, don't let any... Your medical condition does not define you. And you can do whatever you set your mind to. Culinary is a rough career, and it's hard, and it's demanding. But you know what? If I can't lift something heavy, I'll ask somebody. Um, don't push yourself past your limits to hurt yourself. Do what you can within your limits, but also don't let any medical condition um, determine you from going for what you want and following your dreams as, yep. So do the things that you want to do in life. No matter what's in your way, push through it, and you can do it. Um, subscribe if you're hungry for videos every Food Friday, and I will catch up with you guys in my next video. Stay saucy!